Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Addison Ray with 1,456 rating versus MMCR13 with 1,276 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in, and we are going to go ahead and see Addison win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and decide to go first, 42 versus 60, opening hands, we have book, shifter, called by dark ruler, shifter, so it's flounderies, but they bricked, uh, also, I don't know why people were playing more than 40 in this deck, it really doesn't make sense to me, because... Your main win condition is shifter or like drawing robin plus something else you know like i don't see the point of playing like over 40 in this deck at all and then they have cross out griffin foolish nib and 001 like the deck can play enough consistency cards 13 going second cards and 40 like i just don't know i don't, I don't know do you need more than 13 going second cards in the deck while also having like plenty of consistency cards uh pass drop a shooter and then they're going to activate Foolish, chain shifter in response to Foolish. So they're just going to send Valor. And then activate Vashuda, special summon out, battle phase attack. And then pass, draw Apex Avion. Pass, draw e -Telly. So now they're not under the shifter anymore. Activate e -Telly. And then that's going to summon out the recover. They could book a moon that. Yeah, normal summon out 001. Slap those in the Anaconda. Anaconda effect. Pay 2k. Dump Fusion Destiny. The Bricks. Bring out Enforcer. Battle phase. Attack for 500. Attack for 25. And then they're going to set cross out. End phase. Enforcer. Chain called by. So it's Celestial. Then they're going to pop a recover. And for Why? Why pop Enforcer there? That's weird. Um. I don't know. Plays in the, like, DD Crew, I guess. I mean, you just pop Called By. You, you, you only pop one of your cards. You could just pop Enforce your Called By. You could leave Recover set if you wanted. Um, but. Pass, Straw Robin, said What a Buy. I mean. They're gonna Dark Ruler, Normal Summon, Effect, which is pretty good. That's gonna go grab Eagle. And then normal summon out eagle, eagle effect to search. Imagine they said what a buy and then gets hit with imperm. Like, <laughs> grab empen, tribute go for empen, empen chain link one, eagle chain link two, robin chain link three. So grab back robin, grab back eagle. Why would they grab all those? Is that because they're going for the unexplored wins here? And that's, that's like definitely not the play. <laughs> Uh, they're gonna go put those back. I guess, like, if you grab the trap, it loses to Enforcer. If you grab any of the other spells, like map, it loses to Enforcer. So I guess this is just the play. Put those back, draw Robin Terraforming. Now activate Terraforming to grab map. And then battle phase, attack Enforcer. Um, I guess they want Robin Banished to Chain Block next turn. Too late. Yeah, it kind of seemed too late, no? Oh, uh, they went ahead. Attack. Declared Effect to go ahead and out it. Banish Robin. Signal OK. Main Phase 2. Activate Map. Viewed Graveyard Effect. Um... Okay, so they're gonna argue here. <laughs> okay, Pastro Itali, so it looks like they're letting the enforcers still come out. Attack position and then go battle phase, attack empin, and now they have to use the effect. Otherwise they would crash. Because this doesn't like negate the effect, it negates the activated effects. Well, not negate the activate effect, but it makes it so that way they can't activate the effect, but, you know, this doesn't activate, so this would be at 25, and this would also be at 25, and they're trying to crash, so they're going to empt and stop that, set e -Telly, and then pass, draw dark really standby phase, and Forcer comes out, um, and then they're going to activate e -Telly to bring out Ogre, they could also enforce your pop, main phase, dark ruler, and then activate map, uh, they admit defeat. I don't know why you're talking trash, but to be honest. I mean, they... They didn't even say anything there. 
you literally admitted defeat, and then you said, I'm not saying anything to you, but then, like, you just did. Okay. So, I asked, and Ray definitely started it, for sure. Oh, okay. Let's go to the next game, and then... We're going to go ahead and we're going to see MMCR go first. Opening hands, you have Shifter, Terraforming Mines, Shifter, Harpies. They have Red Rose, Snow, Vishuda, Temple, and Mare Mare. So they're going to activate Temple Effect, Banish to go Surge, Grab Right, and then activate Chain. So discard, bring out, it's going to get banished, and that's how you went in. Were you on Striker before, weren't you? It wasn't me. Special summon out of a shootout. Yeah, this is a team account, so there's like like double digit people that play on this, so like it's like a different person every time probably. So grab Draco back and then affect the search and discard. So they're gonna grab Griffin and then discard Mare Mare, special summon out Griffin, and then normal summon Red Rose, get rid of those, go for Fleur. Activate Draco back on the token. Um, why? <laughs> I guess it makes this that way. It's harder to beat over. Okay, so then they have to like actually out it. Draw Empens. So they just bricked again. Activate Terraforming. So Terraforming is gonna go grab Mystic Mine. Activate mine, chain floor. Also, I don't know why they put harpies in against the deck that doesn't set back or like they don't even go for blackout. Activate, negate, and then harpies to hit the back row. Pass, draw a pointer. Okay, so a pointer just secures the game there because now they can hit whatever the top deck is. So attack, set, pass, draw phase, activate, game. And then just move on to the next game now. So going on to game three. D shifter two mine duster and I won. Wow. Well that's like plane versus Eldlish and they draw like Skill Drain, Goes in, T C Boo, Warlords, Judgment, and it's like that's easier to win through than if one of those floodgates were like a conquistador because they just don't have engines. So how how are they supposed to beat you with those cards? Like they're good cards, but they don't actually win you games. I mean, mine does. Mine can definitely win you games, but it, it's not like mine really mattered there. I mean, they negated it, so that way they didn't end up losing to something whack, like a Regeki or something probably, but they had Draco back, and like the Harpies would have outed the Draco back, but then they couldn't have used like the effect to re-equip or anything because they were under Shifter, but we have Map, Eagle, Adventure, Robin, Ogre, they have Imperm, Droll, Red Reboot, Prep, and Itali. So now they're talking Spanish, activate map, map effect, reveal, eagle, and then go banish. So banish Empin, normal summon, effect to go to search. So go grab the Apex Avion. And then they're gonna drop Droll. Um, why would you do it one second after they search? See, that's literally the worst draw I've ever seen. You're supposed to wait. Wait until they actually resolve Eagle. They search. Okay, ask. Are you normal summoning off of that? Like, is, is this resolved? Are we in a new chain link now? Because the odds are they probably would have normal summoned Robin off of that. Robin effect chain link 1. Droll chain link 2. Droll shuts down Robin. And, like, you could have done that. You could have done that. Go search Toucan. Or they could have been like, oh, wait, I'm not done with my chain. Why'd you drop Droll? And then normal summon something else. Other than, like, the Robin in hand. Just because, like, now they know you're planning on dropping Droll. Uh, Toucan, chain Robin. And they're going to chain Imperm on the Toucan. So they're going to grab Robin. And then pass, draw Valor. Um, activate the prep. So prep, grab the Illusion and Chaos. And then activate the Illusion of Chaos. So search souls. And then put back one. And then activate souls. So that's not what you're supposed to do. Again, you're supposed to go into deck. Because now you just told your opponent that you don't have the Illusion of Chaos in hand. And that you put back that card instead of something else. 
So you just revealed free information for no reason. Activate e Telly. e Telly goes summon out the recover. And then Souls discard to try to draw. They could Ogre if they wanted to. Yeah, it's like they're not going to draw Faithful. Just plays in the way too much. Needle Fiber, Needle Fiber Effect, Chain Link 1, Ogre Chain Link 2, and then go Summon, out the Red Rose. I guess, like, if you Ogre Souls, it's just, like, I could just name so many cards that play through that, though. Like, another e Telly, um, a Rite, a Fateful, a Temple, any of those could have also just been drawn off Souls. Just any extender in general. A normal summon wouldn't because map would then trigger. You're going to activate. And then grab temple, discard temple, temple, search right. Now activate right, bring out token, faithful to grab Draco back. And then get rid of those to make Yazi red rose, summon rocks rose, rocks rose, search out basil rose shoot. Yeah, like there's doing all this and then they can out map here and then Yazi summon summon out Mare Mare and then Mare Mare effect token Mare Mare token then go link spider turn those into the Dagda effect chain Dagda go set Lancia and then token get rid of those for Anaconda um, they could have used Rocks Rose plus Herald, Rocks Rose plus Mare Mare token to make the Herald of Arclight, and then have used Dagda plus Mare Mare to go into Anaconda. And then you just have like Herald of Arclight to protect you during the standby phase when you land seal them. So now they're going to go ahead and just beat over the field attack and then main phase two set basil rose shoot and pass could have also summoned basil rose shoot summon back and then make the herald to keep dagged on board to set another lance uh, draw shifter which doesn't do anything main phase one okay main phase one okay i guess because they have valors so like if they top deck dark ruler to dark ruler them then like they normal summon and use the effect and they chain valor and win so they're gonna they're gonna valor this and then win. So they get the add back, but Robin's negated off Valor, End Phase Enforcer effect. They admit defeat. Oh, offer rematch. They said bye. Well, as in like they are the buy or You are free, I just want you to know that. For free. No, I had Valor, I didn't want to herald, so if you top deck Dark Ruler. What? That doesn't make sense. If you have Herald of Arc light up, right? And you Enforcer pop Lancia during standby phase, right? Let's say you do this. Then you win. What, what does that mean? Like, if your Herald gets hit with Dark Ruler, it's negated. So then you Valor negate. I, I like how they said misplayer and they said no, 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 no. <laughs> but like, yes, 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 yes. You... Uh, a dark really negates the herald, bro. But okay, they're gonna go ahead and admit defeat. I don't know. I kind of don't want to show either of these players off on the channel anymore. It just feels like I don't know. Like they're 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 mad. They're trash talking. They don't play very well. Like nothing about having them on the channel seems very great. So I'm probably just gonna stop showing both these players off for a little while. You know, give them some time. Give them some time to improve at the format. Uh, give them some time to calm down, I guess. Uh, but with all that being said, seeing how long the match was, we can see that it was about 35 minutes long. And the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.